guys, it's me, Abby. So today I'm going to be doing a, like, soft glam kind of look. I mean, you can honestly wear this to any place you want. You can wear this every day if you really wanted to. It's a lot of makeup and it's pretty, like, dramatic eyeshadow. But I think it's such a nice, like, formal, like, sultry kind of look. <laughs> it just includes, like, a lot of browns and a lot of neutrals. Um, you can obviously add a pop of color in any part of this look if you wish. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, all my social media links are down below. Uh, don't forget to check those out and give it a like um, if you guys like this video. And leave a comment if you guys want have any video requests you would like me to do. Also, I would like to mention something that I wasn't able to mention in my last video with my friends and their baking. Um, <laughs> I would just like to thank you so much for the support that I got in my The Real Me video. I don't think I've ever, I've never felt so supported and loved, I don't think, in my entire life. Um, when I made that video, I, I wasn't expecting anything much of it. I was thinking, oh, like, I'm going to get support, but I feel like I'm going to get a lot of negative feedback. But I have not gotten one negative comment on that video and it is such an amazing feeling to just to just feel like the love and support that everyone is giving you and it's so amazing and thank you guys so much I have the best subscribers ever and I could not ask for anything better I'm not gonna make this super emotionally emotional and sentimental I just did my makeup I'm not ruining it with tears it just includes like a lot of browns and a lot of neutrals um, you can obviously add a pop of color in any part of this look if you wish. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, all my social media links are down below. Uh, don't forget to check those out and give it a like um, if you guys like this video. And leave a comment if you guys want have any video requests you would like me to do. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for um, joining me today and let's just get right into it. To start up this look, I used some scotch tape to make sure my eyeshadow has a nice crisp line and then I just used some eyelid primer to prime my eyes to make sure the eyeshadow lasts. <laughs> then I took my Gwen Stefani palette like always and I used the color Zone and I used this as a transition color and I just used a fluffy brush to blend this into my crease and going a little bit above my crease also. To make the shimmer on my eyes pop, I'm using a eyeshadow base and I'm using the e.l.f. smudge pot in the color, I think it's called Cruise and Chic and it's this really pretty champagne bronze color and I'm just using a brush to apply this on the inner half of my lids and also in my inner corners and then I'm applying the color Steady and Baby from the same palette on top of that. Then I took the color Punk from the same palette and I just used this to add more definition to my eyes going only on the outer half of my lid and between each application I'm blending it out with the color Zone with a fluffy brush just to make sure the edges are nicely blended and the color just blends seamlessly into the transition color. Now to make this eyeshadow look super smoky and dark I'm using the color Blackout and I'm only applying this on the very outer corner of my eyes, not really blending it into the crease, just to make sure it doesn't get too muddy or too dark. And again, I am blending it out between each application of the color. Make sure to start out um, with a small amount of product and then building it your way up so you don't apply too much. Then I took the color Harajuku from the same palette and I just applied this in between Steady and Baby and Blackout just to add a little bit of a pop of color. And I built it, I, bleh, I built this up a lot. And then of course I just used some mascara to make my lashes look extra fluttery and pretty and you know, the same old, same old. I also forgot to mention that before applying my mascara I did apply some winged eyeliner. But anyways, I'm taking this shimmery color called blonde and I'm using this on my brow bone to make my eyebrows pop and just add a little more highlight and glow. Then I applied some foundation and concealer off camera, but now I'm just setting my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder with a big fluffy powder brush. Mm -hmm. 
Then I used the e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzing duo and I just contoured my face using the bronzing color and I also put on my forehead, my jawline, and my nose to make my face a little more bronzy and defined. To finish off the eye look, I just took the color Punk again, and I just applied it on my lower lash line, not blending it out too much, keeping a very defined line on my lower lash line. And then I also applied some mascara, and that is the finished eye look. Now for some highlighting, I'm using the Wet n Wild Illuminating Face Palette and I'm just highlighting my cheekbones, my nose, and my forehead, chin, upper lip, and just everywhere where I like to highlight just to make my face look a little more glowy and healthy. To finish off the face, I just took some of my face powder and I just applied this on the very bottom of my contour to make the contour look a little bit sharper and more defined and I think this was a really good step. It made my contour just look so much better. Finally, to draw more attention to the eyes, I just paired this look with a simple nude lip from Maybelline. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up and check out my social media links down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!